Did I mess up my link again? It's fine. I am totally organized. This is going to go great. Hang on. What am I hanging on to? Hello, geek boy. What's a black screen? Okay, hold on. Let's see. Chat cam? Hi, Shayna. Hold on one second. <laughs> Is it still just a black screen? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. So, Chef, I'm going to need to call you again. And, um, and we're going to have to reconnect my... Uh, camera. So everybody, keep each other company for just a second. Geek Boy and Shayna, I will be right back. Um, let's see. This is going to take just a second. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Oh, hey. Cool. Uh, that worked. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what that was because I'm not in chat and um, everything is broken. But, hmm? Hi, Davi. Um, there is chaos. One second. I'm fixing it. Totally fixing it. Uh, let me go here. And then I got to go. I got to go. I gotta go here, and I gotta go there, there, and do that. All right, can you see the things and stuff? Okay, so then we gotta do this, and can you see that? Okay, okay. For, okay, so this last, um, <laughs> it happened again. We updated Windows, all right? We updated Windows and, uh, and it destroyed everything. Um, I was hoping that Ish would be able to come and help me take a look at things before I started streams back up, but she's not gonna be able to come and help until tomorrow or the next day. So um, we're gonna have to try to make something work between here and there. What do you see there? The main cam works, but the other two cameras aren't connected. Okay, you're gonna. Do you know how? Uh, no, it's not the Brio. Yeah, that one. Did it work? You're fixing it. Chef is fixing it. So, there's that. I hope everybody's been well. I'm not in chat. So, um, um, Dobby, will you dance, please, for, uh, for the viewers? Dance for the viewers and keep them entertained.
once um, Ish is able to come and help with things, I will very much enjoy showing you guys um, the madness that is my new voice speech program. Um, it's this uh, British guy on crack, basically. His name is Oliver. And I only have him at like 30% and he's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Uh, just whatever you can get me. Craft chem is what you got, then craft chem is what I'll take. You got me craft in chat? Good enough. Alright. Alright, let's make sure that the sound in the video is decent before you leave, please. Can I make it stop talking? I'm gonna make it stop talking. Oh, oh thank fuck. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm gonna go over to my chat window. So. Let's do that. Now. <laughs> Oliver and Company was a great, great, that was one of my all-time favorite cartoons. So, um, how is sound and video now? Are we decent? Does it work? Was it? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm going to close uh, Team Viewer and Discord out then. Thank you, Chef. I appreciate it. Okay. So... Close that and what? Thank you. Close that and oh, uh, that that sound that sound is rough, guys. That's rough. <laughs> That's real rough. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch myself up. Okay, I'm gonna go way up here and find out what's going on. Nova, thank you, Nova. Okay. Okay, so if I go back, then it's going to read me everybody's badges. That's annoying. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. If anything was said... <laughs> if this... <laughs> okay, somebody needs to catch me up on what happened while I was gone because going back and reading it is um painful. It's very painful. Who's gonna tattle? Who's who's the tattler in the group? <laughs> Nothing happened. Sure, sure. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Oh my god. This is fine. Um so hi. How was everyone? How have you been? Um what's up? Everything is normal. Everything is fine. This is great. <laughs> oh. Uh sure, Jiggly. Uh-huh. Sure. I believe you. I gotta figure out how many times I'm gonna have to slow my my voice 
down. I don't know what we're down to now, but I keep having to slow him down to be able to actually keep up with everything because the voice is new, right? And so I'm going to have to go slower to get used to this voice before I speed it back up again. Oh, my God. Okay. So I thought mostly we would just kind of sit and hang out. I, exactly. I do. I know. Oh, this is this is so much faster. <laughs> it's so much faster. Um, it's insane. And the the upside is there's a if I hit Control Alt Windows and then Page Up or Down, then I can control the speed of the voice. I have to take classes on how to use this program because there's so much to learn um, that it's going to be ridiculous. So what I thought we would do today, I've got this thing. I got this thing and I like this thing. It's a little head thing, right? You can see. It's, it's a thing. It is like, oh, hold on, hold on, I can do the thing. Like so. It is not jiggly, it's at like 30 percent. Oh, I have not heard of it. No. Um the game that we played with the psychologist would have been the um, Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. Dr. Decker's Infectious Madness, something of that na nature. It's a good game. Um, okay, so it's this thing, right? It's this thing. But the cool thing is that it's it's got it's got a doohickey and, and stuff, right? So I was looking at this thing, and um, I kind of hate this material. It's It's kind of scritchy. And, um, and I don't care for it. Um, and I've got this yarn. And this yarn is pretty. And it's soft. And it's fluffy. So I thought we would try to make this thing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. So we're going to we're gonna make it up. We're just going to make it up. And, uh, and see if we can make this yarn do that. <laughs> it's going to be great. Yeah? Oh, okay. All right, well, sweet. If you want to send me info on it, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm, it's going to go great. Um, send me the, uh, like, the name of it, Poet, if you wouldn't mind, in a, in a, um, in a DM, in Discord. Sure, 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 yeah, that would be great. Or, or, you know, what would be even better, Poet? Um... Oh, did you put it in the blind bakery? Because I was going to say it might, chef is really, yeah, perfect. I'll get chef to look at it because really it'll be, <laughs> it'll be chef who has to look at it. Um, but, 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 but since you put it there, he can access it. That's perfect. I appreciate it. How's everybody been? Tell me what you've been up to. How was your two weeks? Did everybody have a good time? Wolf, how are you feeling today? I don't, um, I don't really want to use this one because, so, I, I, um, not knitting, crocheted. Yours wasn't terrible. Good to hear. I crocheted, right? I crocheted all the yarn and, um, and I just made a rectangle. I made a, a crocheted rectangle with no purpose, but it was just to practice crochet. Um, and then, <laughs> it was quiet, Oh, um, so, am I, that's good, that's good, Wolf, um, oh, you did, you did, you still owe Vela and Dovey stories about your trip to Alaska, since you just ignored them last time, I told you guys, Dovey, um, that, the, it was because he couldn't he couldn't split his mind between doing what he was doing for um, helping and telling stories. He didn't, <laughs> and then and then everybody forgot by the time we finished. So he just never told you guys anything. Um. Okay. Where was I? Oh, so I crocheted a rectangle. Uh, with no purpose whatsoever, but just to practice crochet. Um, 
All right. Thank you, poet. I got you. Um. <laughs> and when I when I took it out, because of course I took it back out because I didn't really make anything. I just crocheted with crochet. Um, I there was a knot in the center that I had just ignored. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's over here. It's just yammering at me, but it's no problem. Um, so there was a knot, and when I took the knot out, it turned out that knot was holding... Hello, how are you, Tommy? Um, it was holding these two halves together. So um, now I have two balls of yarn where there previously was only one. It was, it was a load-bearing knot, yes. Exactly. <laughs> so here's my thought <laughs> I'm going in order to make this shape I'm going to start with one and then I'm going to start doubling up with each row right uh, not doubling I'm just going to add one so the first the first we'll start with one and then it'll go to two and then three and then four and we're going to do that to um, my math says it should be 18 this is this should be 18 across in the yarn that I have. <laughs> Poor chat. Yep. Yep. Um, and then we're gonna go back down again. I, I was looking at this and I was trying to figure out <laughs> I'm gonna go up to 18 and then I was looking at that and I was trying to decide if I should just start going back down again or if I should do like a couple at 18. I'm thinking two or three at the longest length and then start coming down. Um, and then we're gonna go down to, I'm guessing this is five. I'm gonna guess that's about five across. And then we'll do that for, <laughs> because I, I did a square. Okay, I did a square of this, and the square said that 10 um, across was 3 inches, and 10 rows was up, was 1 and a half inches. Okay, so that's where I'm getting my math. I'm not making you guys do any math. Um, so that's why this is going to end up being 18, and then we'll come back down. This should be about 5 across. Uh, <laughs> and then for how many rows i'm thinking this is probably that's probably three ish inches so 20. i'm going to say that's 20. okay so we're going to start with one we're going to go up to 18. we'll do 18. what do you guys want two or three times three times two times what do you what do you think will make a, a prettier and then and then down to five and then five twenty times and then back up again and then and then we'll have to figure out how many rows to do to get this length but that's where that's where my logic is now what i don't know how to do i have no idea how we're going to do <laughs> i'm not asking you to math i'm asking what which you want me to do i can do um two or three rows of of the the largest length i don't know how to do this thing though this is the part because like there's there's the the straight part of that and then there's a little extra piece over so i'm gonna have to ask ish how to to do that she'll know she'll know how to do it um we're not gonna get that far today so it won't really matter but mostly <laughs> it looks like witchcraft this is gonna go great nova it's gonna be great okay um there's nothing to worry about it's going to go wonderfully. Mm -hmm. I I will warn you, I've not had the best of luck today. Um, it's been one of those days. So if it all goes terribly wrong, it's pretty much on par. Like that's it's kind of what you should expect, I think. Um, but if it goes well, that means something else. I don't know what, but something good, um, surely. <laughs> Surely. It'll be fine. I probably don't have the right size knitting needles for this because I've never used um, thread, uh, uh, yarn. 
<laughs> it's 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 not exactly a scarf. It's um so it's um have you? And then and then this thing goes through that thing right there. And then and then it's like so. And then it'll keep my ears warm. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I know that it creates a very different thing. Mm. I, the, the pattern creates a very different end product. You know? Um, so, in a way, yes. Um, I, I did. I did. I This time, I was not in the wilderness. I was in the city, uh, and I survived the city, which is almost more impressive, to be honest. There were so many people. They were everywhere. Um, they were close to me. I didn't like it. I don't know why they were there. <laughs> I could make it into, like, a, a neckerchief. I could just, just be a neckerchief, right? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can neckerchief it. We're just we're just pretending we know what we're doing today is really it's the gist of what's happening. <laughs> they were everywhere. There, there. Here we've put it to the side. We put it to the side and look. Look like it's intentional. Like there. There we go. Now it's a neckerchief. God, it's a terrible, terrible material though. It's ter which is why we're redoing it because I like the design, um, but I hate the yarn. <laughs> yeah, totally. Why not? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, hmm. Oh God, I did. I. <laughs> Although the great thing about being surrounded by all those people is they were my height or shorter. Uh, so I felt pretty good about that, you know. It really it brought back my, my average height situation. I, was, uh, <laughs> I got to remember that I really am. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, so I was like, oh, look, yeah, yeah, I didn't dream it. I, I didn't dream it. I really was at some point. <laughs> no. No. Uh, I did, I did beat people with my stick today because I went to go do laundry and it was a madhouse in the laundromat today. Um. And so I did, I hit multiple people with my stick today, actually. Multiple. Hey, don't. Don't do it. Don't. No, hey, uh-uh, no. I listened to where their voices were coming from, okay? And I hugged a couple of them. Hugged a couple. And then, and then voices. That got you, Tommy, because it, um, it thought you were calling me a bum. I might have. You don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe not as much, but I still would have enjoyed myself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, <laughs> I just hugged random people. Um, I also had a couple of, of people I didn't know, like guide me and, and based on where their elbows were, I could tell their height. Okay. <laughs> I don't. 
I don't think I grabbed anybody's chest. I don't remember having grabbed a single boob while I was gone. Um, <laughs> they did not have long arms. They did not. <laughs> I did had bought one bottle of wine. Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> okay. Okay. I did get to hang out with um a 6-year-old and a 10-year-old and that was a lot of fun. They were they were very very entertaining. Um I I think I was the first blind person they ever hung out with. So they uh Um <laughs> I mean it sounds like it could be highly entertaining to be fair. Um so I think I'm using the wrong size knitting needles for the size of yarn, which means uh it's going to be a little bit more of a fight to to get the thread through here, but that's fine. We're willing to fight it. It'll be fine. I am I'm going to try slowing this down a bit more again. Hold on. The weed whacker. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> they are? That's true. That is true. Um, let's see. I ate. I ate a lot of food. I was very happy to eat Texas food again. I missed Texas food. It hurt me. Uh, I suffered for it. But I still miss all the flavors. Dubby, did you envelop paint the ceiling yet? I didn't eat 47 churros. I ate three halves of churros. There were three different kinds. I had to test them all. Okay. Three and a half halves is what I ate. <laughs> they had, um... They had a caramel. Uh, in the house. Yes. They had um, a regular churro. They had um, a berry churro. And they had a uh, caramel churro. <laughs> so technically, I ate half. I, probably not. Probably not. Um, the. Uh, so I had to eat a half of each of them so that I, I you know, um, could judge the quality of the different types of churros. Mm -hmm. Anybody would have had to, really. Anybody. It's, it's totally the logical thing to do. How could you choose? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had to. I I honestly don't think it was the churro that was a problem. I think it was the queso. Okay? Um, because the queso tasted distinctly of Velveeta. And I don't think my body appreciated me putting Velveeta into it. Um. <laughs> I ate a little bit of the queso. Uh... I wish you guys could hear the way that my TTS is saying. It's the Quizo is, is what TTS, it keeps saying Quizo and it's very distracting to me. 
I can't. I can't. I want to, but I can't. <laughs> um, see, when I... It's, it's not working right now. <laughs> we don't know. Um, I, I've, there's something that got messed up and I haven't been able to fix it. I've been waiting for Ish to have time to come and help me fix it. She's supposed to come over either tomorrow or the next day. And, uh, Quizo. <laughs> Could be, could be. Let's see, unmute TTS. Unmute TTS. See, it's supposed to be live right now, but I don't think it is. I, I, I got caught by Automon. God only knows why. I'm still trying to. <gasps> oh no, no, no! I fucked it up. Hold on. I got distracted. Yeah, it's been doing it um, since, well, for a while. It is. Oh, okay. Um, no, if we didn't see it, then it, it would have to be... <laughs> I, don't, I don't own the right hook is the problem. I would switch to the right hook if I possessed it but I don't. And I didn't totally mess it up. I, I, I was able to save it. Um, this is the largest I have. So we're using it. It's just likely that it's not large enough, realistically, um, because I've not worked with a yarn this big at all. So I'm using the, uh, the largest knitting needles I've got. Anyhow, and I fixed it. I fi I just, I forgot to add a stitch because uh, I was talking. And so I just put the amount of stitches that logically would have gone on there without adding a new one. What? <laughs> Let me see what Chef just said. What else did I have besides the plastic cheese and the sugary churros? Uh, okay. All right, let's see. We did we did barbecue one night. Um, and then we did... What do we do the next time? Oh, it's Tex-Mex. We did um, Tex-Mex, like big, like the sort of party fajitas. Um, and... We did the kind of authentic Mexican that is in a place that is connected to um, a gas station. You know, that, that kind of... <laughs> what did you do? Why did you do it? What are you... Tongue sticking out emo... Um, what are you clipping? Um... The Mexican, the authentic Mexican, the one that was in the gas station, that's the one that hurt my stomach. So that one is the one that had the Velveeta queso and all the churros. And uh, and I had something called um, Volcanos del Sante. Volcanos del Sante, I think. What? What did he do, Davi? Tell me what he did. I can't go look at it right now. So you got to help me. Yeah, Volcanos del Santos. Which I don't know what that is, but it was fucking delicious. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it was great. What did he do? Yeah, I know that much, huh? And we went to a steakhouse. Um... <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Um. Yeah. 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 Um. It was delicious. It was. It just hurt me. Um. The the, the steakhouse we went to. Uh. Can I say which steakhouse? 
I actually don't know the name of the steakhouse. Chef, do you know the name of the steakhouse? Anthony's? Yeah. There. They were good. Um, I got a filet, and I got potatoes au gratin. And they had these other potatoes that were fried in duck fat. And um, it was, all in all, pretty delicious. I did, I did accidentally headbutt a bottle of wine while the lady was trying to pour it. Um, which might have been a little bit of a mess and highly embarrassing but other than that it was good <laughs> yeah it, it's a nice little place though uh So, chef, I don't, I don't think so. I think, if anything, we might have been tied, but I don't, I don't think it was going to be more for her than it was for me. I don't think so. Um, so she was, she was pouring here, and um, and I didn't realize she was still there, and that the wine bottle was right there, and somebody said something over here, and it was very loud in this restaurant, and so I leaned forward. And went what? <laughs> and when I did, I went what? And I slammed my face into her wine bottle, which made it jerk. And then the wine went all on the plate, and and it was a mess. Um, so that's, that's how that went. <laughs> it was good times. Mhm. Mm um. So so the kids, right? The the. <laughs> The kids. <laughs> True. Um, it it was my wine, but it was. I guess I could headbutt if I wanted to. It wasn't my plate of food that it went into, though. So, that that uh, was very rude to headbutt it into someone else's food. Um. <laughs> the the kids that were there. There's a six year old and a ten year old that that we were hanging out with, and um, I had a blast with these kids. They were a ton of fun, and they're they're very sufficient children, like self sufficient children. Um, they they take care of themselves as far as breakfast and and lunch is concerned, you know. And um, they decided one day they came and they they just took me by the hand and they like dragged me. Uh, off and I was like, okay, we're going for a walk and I had no idea where we were going turned out We were gonna go to the dining table and the little guy sat me down at the table and he's like It's time for you to eat lunch and I was like, oh, okay um, And then him and his brother went in the kitchen and and what they normally do for lunch because it's what Viper does um, Is you take leftovers whatever they were and you put them in a tortilla and that's that's lunch and um so they went and they just, they put leftovers in a tortilla for me and they brought it to me and they fed me. Um, and then another day they decided it was time for me to get dressed for the day. Uh, and so they like grabbed my bag and they picked my clothes out for me and they went and put my clothes in the bathroom. Um, and then they were like, it's time for you to go get dressed. <laughs> it's your clothes are in. And I was like, that's not what I was going to wear today. Um, <laughs> they were very happy with their stuffed um, cat and dog. They they were they were super thrilled about that. <laughs> they were adorable, uh, and and very hilarious, and a bit of a handful. Um, I got woken up one morning by um being nipped in the butt by a cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, I have a, a it was a cat. Mm -hmm, it was, um, the, I have a bobcat tail <laughs> on my purse, on the zipper. Um, and, uh, the dog discovered it 
and I tucked it into the purse because the dog started getting really excited about the wild cat that was on my purse. And, um, and from then on, the dog just was like really concerned about the fact that nobody else seemed to be concerned that there was a wild cat in a bag in the living room. Um, but she was super obsessed with that bag the whole time. Sweet dog, little hyper. Um... <laughs> could be, could be. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's true. I could do that. Just put them in different bags and see which one she freaks out about the most. Yeah, we had a good time. It was, um, <laughs> right, exactly. It was, um, it was really nice. It was, it was very nice. They're a lovely family and it was very nice to get to, to visit with them. Um, like I said, there was a lot of people and I definitely, I didn't have too much in the way of like headaches and stuff when I got back here, but I definitely had at least one day of headachiness down south. Um, but I mean, the reason I left Texas is because the state does not agree with me uh, physically. You know, I was looking at the um, the air quality down there and it was like in the 70s, uh, whereas the air quality here is usually between 35 and 40, um, which is still shit, but it's better than 70. Um, and it was so hot. It was so hot and it was so sticky and just gross. It was gross. And there were so many people. Um, let's see. Airport stuff. Okay, so in, in Montana, uh, there aren't a ton of blindies wandering around. And so, um, they're not as accustomed to getting blind people in the airports. They have attendants who will come and help you, but the attendants don't have something in their head about what they need to do. Um, so there was, it was actually really nice because they, they asked what they could do to help and what I needed and like had a conversation with me and that was nifty. Um, and then we flew, there was a layover in, hey Jeff, um, there was a, a layover in DFW, and the little guy. How are you, Jess? How was your uh, How was your two weeks? Um, the little guy that was helping me. I I don't know what his um. Uh, first language was, but it, it was not English. Um, and when he did speak English, he never spoke more than three words at a time. Um, and he mumbled, right? So it's just sort of mumbled like three words at a time and he was not very communicative. So, uh, I took his elbow and he just sort of walked me over to this chair and bumped me against it. Uh, and I was like, no, I really don't want to sit in the chair. Please don't make me do that. Um, and then, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, I am happy to be back as well. I'm being busy can be a good thing. Is it a good thing or is it stressing you? Um, and so, so then he just started walking. I asked him how his day was. He didn't respond. And I was like, okay, guess we're not having a conversation. And then we just walked and he didn't say a word. And then randomly we stopped. Um, it's stressing you. I understand. Yeah. Um, we stopped and we're just standing there and like he didn't say anything and this lady walks up and she's like hi and I was like hi and then I stood there for a second and nobody was saying anything and I was like is this the um is this the gate and they were like the the lady says what and I was like it is this the gate and she didn't say anything for a second and then the elevator dinged and that was what we were doing apparently is waiting for an elevator but I didn't know that and I was like oh never mind okay elevator so we get on the elevator and then we go um down to where the train is because we've got to catch a train to get from this gate to the gate that I need to, to get on the next flight on. Um, and, uh, the guy walks me onto the train and he just puts my hands on the bar 
and then he disappears into this crush of humans. There's just so many people, and we're like sardines in this little little train. Um, and after like five or six stops, I started thinking, you know, I don't know how far we're going, and I'm not entirely sure at what point I start being concerned that he's gone. Um, like, how many stops is enough stops that you start thinking, I may have been abandoned on this train? Um, so then eventually he was like, excuse me, ma'am. And he, he starts grabbing my hands and pulling them off of the bar on the train, but the train hasn't stopped yet. And I'm like, I'm not letting go. Um, <laughs> I, I was like, I'm not letting go of this bar until this train comes to a stop. Um, because I don't want to fall against this crush of humans that's all around me. So he's like prying my hands off and I'm like, mm -mm. um, and then we finally stop and, said, uh, <laughs> I couldn't, I was too busy holding onto the bar. Um, so then we get off the train and we get to the, the terminal and like the guy, he just didn't speak like the whole time. And I'm like, God, so fucking disconcerting the whole time. And then we got to Houston and in Houston, um, <laughs> We got to Houston and there was just the nicest little guy there um, who he was very descriptive like the whole time we'd be walking and he'd be like, OK, you've got, you know, we're going to be taking a left here um, and we're going to be going up as a slight ramp here, you know, like just very descriptive. And he, and he chatted and he was friendly and I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> like, thank you so much. Um. And he actually sat with me until Viper got to the airport to pick me up, um, which he absolutely was not required to do. Uh, but it was very kind of him. So very sweet young gentleman. Um... <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think I started. I did not. I did not cry on that guy. I did discover that I might. Um, <laughs> well, and shoppers at CVS or Albertsons or re really anywhere that I come across you. Um, I, uh, I did, I did figure out that I, I apparently am afraid of flying. Like, I, I, I know I was always a little bit nervous about the whole thing, but like, I didn't really realize how afraid of flying I am. Um, <laughs> but I might be. Slightly afraid of flying. I mostly just am uncomfortable with loud noises going really fast <laughs> and um, heights. So, you know, it's it's mostly that. But, um, yep. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I... I <laughs> Okay, I do enjoy climbing trees, but I'm in control of that, Chef. If if I'm in control of the height, um, then it's different. I'm more comfortable with that. It's when I don't have any control that I, I get uh, real anxious. I don't like it at all. That's why I don't like being picked up. Um, I mean, it might help. <laughs> it might. <laughs> maybe it would be better who knows uh the thing is all of the planes that come into and leave montana are um i don't know if they're smaller or if they're older okay i will i'll put it in, i'll put it in there next time um but they're bumpier and louder uh and they feel closer, like it just, it feels scarier. <laughs> it always feels, but the people are nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're just, um, they're scary. That's all. They're just scary. So, yeah. That's. The guy on the way back, I thought it was super cute because apparently Delta's got this thing now where they don't talk about turbulence anymore. It's not turbulence, guys. It's rough air, okay? 
And even the captains are trying to get accustomed to using this as a term. Like, he would stumble over it whenever he would talk about it. You know, he'd be like, we're going to be hitting some rough air uh, between here and where we're going. Um, and so, like, on the last of the leg, the, the last leg of, of the flight home, um, they were going to be hitting enough rough air. <laughs> they had decided that they were not going to have any service uh, because they did not want the uh, flight attendants to be walking around on the plane because there was going to be too much rough air. So they let us know this before we even take off. And I'm like, oh, damn it. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I don't know. A Delta is the only one I've been on that does that. I, they're, they, they, it's, it's a softer term, I guess, to just talk about as rough air. I have no fucking clue, Tommy. I've never, never witnessed to this before, so this was a new thing to me. Um, Delta had an interesting feel to them. It, it, I don't usually fly Delta. Uh, I, I think I've mostly been on like, what is it, Alaska Airlines or American Airlines? Um, when I was a kid in the 80s, I think it was, there might have been the early 90s. Is it the 80s or the early 90s? There was a big, like, I don't remember what happened, but Delta had crashes or something, and it got stuck in my head that Delta crashes. Um, <laughs> is that what it is? Could be. It would not shock me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So that's about it, really. Um, yep, yep. Got home and I started planning for this week's um, stream stuff. And this week's stream stuff started with the fact that um, I was bought a bottle of Jalapeno lime balsamic vinegar, a large bottle, and I have no fucking clue what to do with a bottle that large. Um, so I looked at the website uh, where they actually have recipes and stuff for the oils and vinegars, and the only recipe they have for the jalapeno mm -hmm. lime balsamic. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I, I mean, it could work, Tommy. That might be the solution. The only recipe they had on the website was um margaritas so i was like fine we'll make fucking jalapeno margaritas it's it's a uh, orange juice tequila lime juice you do yeah you really do oh <laughs> so so that's how the meal got planned they do have mustards yeah They've got nifty, mu they've got just lovely stuff. Did I talk? No, no, because it's, okay, look. <laughs> Guys, it's bad. Okay, there's a problem. Like, uh, when I went in, the lady was like, it's been so long since I saw you. And I was like, I was actually just here not that long ago. And it is, yeah. And I was like, and I spent too much money and um, I really need to not come in here as much as I do. Like, I have to stop. It needs to stop. Um, and apparently Skip said that one of the day that he went in and he bought me my bottle of caramelized garlic olive oil, he was buying it for me, right? And the lady behind the bar, or but the little thing, was like, oh, we got a little gal who really loves this stuff. And he was like, yeah, short haircut, carries a stick. And, um, and she was like, yeah, that's her. And I was like, no, no, that's not okay. I, I had a time, um, I had a time that I went in there and I was concerned because I didn't have my cane with me. 
And I was like, oh, they're not going to know I'm blind and I'm going to make an ass of myself. And Ish was like, it's okay, don't worry about it. We walked in and the lady was like, oh, you got a haircut. And I was like, never mind, I don't need the king. I, I guess I might go too often. But anyways, so I went in and because I was tasting all the things, <laughs> because I was tasting all the things, she was like, do you like pumpkin? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, okay, hold on. And she goes into the back and she like, got into a product that they aren't even selling yet um they don't have it in store to sell but it's this pumpkin puree stuff um and the thing is like it's delicious but it has this mouthfeel to it it's just it just it was it was a pumpkin butter is what they called it yeah um and it just slides across the tongue in the most gorgeous way. I don't know what I would do with it. I have no idea what to do with it. But I was like, okay, you got to let me know when you get that in. Uh, she was like, yeah, we're ordering it. Um, so I got to taste something they're not even carrying yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would work. But I would want to do some something like, like a Danish, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, in a pastry. <laughs> right. it's bad it's real bad uh nova so you'll want to know this um the little tea place that we went to she's leaving yeah exactly she's she's moving back home yeah she's moving mm-hmm yeah I have actually done pop tarts. Uh, <laughs> I did, I did gluten free pop tarts. I know, I know, I knew you'd want to know though. Um, I went in last week. Um, maybe not, but you could probably integrate some of the flavor into it at least. You'd have to check the um, the ratios of that. <laughs> it would be interesting to do actual pop tarts with glutinous flour, because uh, doing them gluten free was definitely an adventure. Um, but yeah, we went in and and chatted with her, and she said she's moving back home next year. So that you still have a little bit of time to go in and chat with her, but. Mm. Trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, guide dog lady. I met with the guide dog lady. I had my interview, and she says um, she thinks that I should be able to get my guide dog by April or May of next year. So that's exciting. We did a little bit of a watch party last night. Yeah, there will be a dog eventually. Eventually. It still feels like it's going to be forever. Um, it is. Thank you. It is. Yeah, it still feels like forever away, but it could be worse. Um, that will be like a two-week course, I believe. And I'm not sure if they'll have me in... New York or New Jersey for the training, but I'll be out there for two weeks when that happens. Um, but at least it's in the works now. Um, let's see what else. Two, I gotta count. Hold on. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so we need four more rows. Um, we were gonna watch the bear in the watch party, but um, that didn't work out because the Hulu that I have, even though it is one of those that is paid for, it still has advertisements, and I can't, man, I can't do like five advertisements every ten minutes 
to watch a show, I'll lose my mind. Um, so... Oh! <laughs> they do, I, I'm, I'm a little scared in New York, honestly. That's If I had a hard time, Tommy, with the amount of people in DFW, um, I, I don't know how I'm going to handle New York. That's going to be a lot of people. Um, it's going to be a lot. Um, but, oh, so because of the whole, um, the, the person who bought me the jalapeno lime balsamic also bought me a giant bottle of hatch chili oil, uh, green chili oil. So I was looking at how I could use that as well. So we were going to do New Mexican food. Um, I have posted in discord what we're doing this week as far as the meals. I, there's a food truck when we, oh God, I wonder when that is. I need to find out when the food truck battle is because I went to that last year. <laughs> no, it was huge. <laughs> um, the, it's over. Ah, terrible. We missed it. That's so sad. I went last year and it was so good. I should have I should have kept up with when it was this year. Um the It was while I was gone. Damn it hell. Okay. They have a um they have a food truck that's like Indian tacos. And um that's kind of what I'm making this week is uh, there's a recipe this new Mexican chef has got something that he calls Tewa Tacos. And uh, it's basically a taco but made on Indian, fla uh, Indian fry bread with um, the hatch red chili sauce. So we're going to do that. And the Indian fry bread <laughs> is fried in lard. I've never fried anything in lard before. I bought four pounds of lard. This is going to be fun. <laughs> it's a lot of lard. So. Um, and then. What is it? Calabresita? No. Calabresitas? I think it might have been calabresitas. Um, was the other dish. Which is a squash dish, which sounds super tasty. It's like summer squash and um, corn and hatch green chilies and a little bit of cream. Um, it should be tasty. I got a sauce. At least I think it's a sauce. I actually haven't even looked at it. I got something... Um, when I was looking for hatch green chilies at the store, because obviously they're not going to have like fresh hatch green chilies, right? But I've gotten the cans of the hatch green chilies in the past, but those are just little four ounce cans. They had something, let me show you. Um, and I wasn't sure what it was I was buying, but I figured what the hell, let's try. Let's see if I can find it. Where did I put you? you are that so I figured we could try that oh they're I, I don't know when they're around but they are freaking delicious the two best of the food trucks were that one and the churros one. The, the churros food truck was inappropriately good. I 
I do have to decide what I'm going to do about the dessert, though, because I don't know if we should do the Spanish custard or if we should do, um, like, if I should just go look for a recipe for something like flan. Oh, but somebody was telling me that it takes a special pan to make flan. And I don't have that pan. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a flan pan. And since I'm making Indian fry bread, I don't want to make a fried dessert. So I can't make sopapillas or churros. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh, the toilet. Um, it ish. It's an interesting person. Yeah, she's a she's she's a character. She really liked those toilets. <laughs> that was a um because of the amount of people they have going through that area every year um next year they're going to be removing all of those latrines and it's going to be a completely packing out uh situation so i'm really glad i went when i did because i don't i don't know that i want to do that i don't i don't like it You do what you got to do, but I don't like it. <laughs> yep. Yep. So that might be one of those where they're like, hey, we're going to go do this one again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I um I may pass on future visits to that particular location. This is where we're at. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You guys have a good time. I think. Uh, yeah, there's there's no telling. Um, it was a fairly hilarious rule. It did cause some problems with the fact that, like, I was like, how am I supposed to figure out where I'm supposed to be throwing this thing? Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four
hopefully my complete lack of focus on what I'm doing is not going to bite me in the ass. It could. It might. I was trying to think about our next project. And um, we still have... <laughs> we still have um, our patchwork project to do. Um, and then my brain went sideways because I was thinking about the patchwork project last night. Okay. And, um, and I thought, I can either create a stuffed critter that is um, a patchwork project of all the different animals. And I was kind of thinking even like if we made half of the face the dog face and then half of the face the cat face and then put like the the horns and tail and wings of a dragon on it, um, like that could be a patchwork critter. And then I was like, or I could do like a, a lap pad with a patchwork critter face on it um i don't know and, and i got super indecisive and so based on my indecisive nature we're knitting today <laughs> that's how we ended up where we are now um but it could work to do cat dog dragon <laughs> it's just crippling indecision jiggly um I've still got two more projects I want to do. I, I need to do a patchwork project of some kind. And I need to do a crochet critter. Um, I need to have a conversation. Now that I've got the, the basic motions of crochet down, I've got to talk with... Uh, Probably not based off of what I've got going on. No, my my current skill set, I, I would say probably not. Um, as soon as I have the time to sit down with Ish, um, I want to talk to her about the crochet critter and see if we can find a pattern, see if I can figure out how to read a pattern for crochet. Jiggly, how's that gone for you? Pattern seeking and whatnot. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure how accessible patterns will be. But we'll find out. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Surely. Um, but I have to get her help to go there. So let's let's look at some something really quick fast. I want to look at what I've got so far. This is up to I think it's 15, 16. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Now theoretically. I said I was going to go two more, which, yeah, that looks like that would be about where this one is. So if we're making it the same as that one, but this is where that is at 16. Um, now, 
I don't know. I'm looking at the difference between the stretchiness. This other material is way stretchier than the yarn that we're using. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect things in the end. Did you get Dubby? I know you fell asleep during Good Omens. I don't know how far you got. Were you able to enjoy any of it or did it take me too long to actually get it started? We watched two episodes, I think. And then because it was as late as it was, we called it a night. I had told people that um, since I started so terribly late, if you guys wanted, I could give you another night where we watched a couple of episodes. If you want. Or we can just wait until next month, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, would you like for me to, to give you a, a, a different watch party night to make up for the fact that we wasted most of that trying to solve technical issues? I think oh, okay I felt bad because it just took me forever to get things organized Oh, you were fine. <laughs> Every Saturday. <laughs> God, it was so busy last month. It was so busy. Um, oh, gotcha, gotcha. We watched two episodes, Nova. So if you have the ability to, to watch the first two, then you'll be caught up with us. I really liked the book. Um, I have seen the first season. I've not seen the second season. I have no idea what they did in the second season yet. But um, I was a big fan of the book. And I thought they were one of the ones that really did an excellent job of translating the book into a show. Oh, you did? Okay. Gotcha. Good, good. Um I thought they did a really good job. Oh, get me started. I get upset when I start thinking about American Gods. I really liked that book. And I was very upset when I watched that show. Like, unreasonably upset. <laughs> it made me very mad. They just, they fucked it up. And I know that Neil Gaiman took part in it. And I'm like, why? Why did you do this? It's wrong. So wrong. Sit here and drink my coffee. Mm. Yeah. Figure eight. Oh, not. I got it.
Thank you for your time. I'm so sorry about the song. Um, apparently my computer's a little bit angry at me. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta figure out what this question... I don't know the answer to your question about knots. Honestly. Could I distinguish the difference between them? I mean, I'm sure if somebody showed me the two different knots, then maybe I could. Uh, but I couldn't, like, I, I don't know that much about knots. Look, it was upsetting, Chef, okay? It was upsetting. It was wrong. They fucked up the characters. You can't have Shadow doing the stuff that he was doing that that was the actions of other characters altogether and it just it completely changed the character to have him <laughs> hello how are you sir guess what guess what Um, I got a new, I got a new program. Um, it's, uh, I got JAWS instead of NVDA. All right. Now, um, the, there's an upside and a, a downside to this. Um, the upside is JAWS doesn't read the badges. Um, the downside is JAWS doesn't read emotes. <laughs> so I can use the the regular Twitch chat now. Um, I don't I, I which is great. I won't need the to to continue to use the the program that you set up for me. Um, however, I no longer will be able to know when people put emotes in chat. Uh, just as a general. I'm supposed to go talk to a lady. It's true. It won't matter at all. Um, I'm going to talk to a lady on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, no more Baby Rage. You would have to, if you write out Baby Rage. Yes. Yeah, I cannot see. It doesn't tell me that there even is an emote. I know nothing as far as emotes go. We'll let you. <laughs> so Jess, you guys are going to have to play with this one to find out what else going on. This is going to be completely different. I know it is really upsetting, isn't it? Oh God. Um, so, so that worked like, and that's good because right there that said tongue sticking out. So at least it's, it's telling me that, right? It's, it's giving me what that is instead of just saying P or uh, nothing at all. But um, but in general. Oh, you typed it out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hello. <laughs> so that was good. That was well done. Uh, when I get ish to um when i get ish to fix things um and you guys can hear the tts again you'll have to play with it <laughs> because it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be very different i i don't have a clue what will translate um as far as the old stuff and the new stuff and i i still haven't decided if i'm gonna keep oliver or if I'm going to go look at the other voices again and, and do something different. Right now, 
I I am using Oliver, who's a a, a very very fast speaking British dude. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be a whole new thing. I don't even know if we'll have Cuban pesos anymore. We may not have Cuban pesos anymore. Um, which is gonna make my whole redemption thing not make any sense at all. Yeah, it might have taken away your pesos. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It did, it did actually make sense. There was a reason behind it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I mean, real quick, we're at eighteen now. Okay, so the question is. Do we do, this is, this is 18 rows, okay? We've got it coming up, and then we want to go in a curve and come back down. Now, if we just do one at 18, it's going to be the longest one, and I don't feel like it's going to curve quite right. I feel like it's going to kind of almost angle, right? So I think we need two or three rows of 18. What do you guys think, two or three? If this is 18 maybe two no maybe three i'm thinking maybe three three sounds good um three three would probably would probably round it out we'll we'll try three um uh, well this is what i'm trying to do zara I'm making that and I can't tell what they did here but they're using much smaller um, yarn it looks like four or five rows <laughs> Their their yarn is much 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 thinner than mine. So like, let's see, I don't even know if I can count how many. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yeah, we'll try three and we'll see what happens. Um, yep. And really, we're just trying to make it generally like that. It doesn't have to be exact, you know. I might have been saying something, but if I was, I forgot what it was because I got just... Oh, Cuban pesos. Okay, so the reason that we had that um, is because in the old... With, with the old program that we were using, if you put two C-U-P cup, two cup, and you didn't put an S on it, then it would say two Cuban pesos. Um, if you put two C-U-P-S, then it said two cups. But if you put two cup then it was two cuban pesos and that made me laugh and so um that's how we got cuban pesos as the redemption thing here um. <laughs> oh no it just says cup <laughs> yeah so we no longer have cuban pesos yeah, try um, Nova. Try doing it capitalized for me, please. Like if every letter is capitalized, two C U P's. Jiggly, what did you just do? Two cup. Yeah. 
I don't know what Jiggly just did though. Sue Pend. Oh, Sad Pend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we've lost our Cuban pesos. It sounded like Sue Panda, and I was super confused. This is gonna go real smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna it's gonna be a learning curve for all of us. <laughs> Damn it, Billy. I did find out that Billy may not have COVID. Um Billy was exposed to someone who had COVID, but I talked to him yesterday and he did not have COVID yet. Uh, so we're hoping he doesn't end up getting it. <laughs> Again, has Bella ban banned you before? I don't know how it's going to change things for the amount of... Oh, really? I don't know that I've ever been banned. I know I've been timed out twice. Once by Jiggly and once by Izzy. All right, so that's. <laughs> and yet I have protected you, Jiggly, every time Dovey asks to ban you. Oh, yep. Mm hmm. That's likely what happened to Vela as well. Um, Chef made a habit of accidentally banning Dovey, and then Dovey made a habit of accidentally banning Wolf. Well, especially when you have the kind of chat that all piles on to the trolls, you know, which we do. Um, so. Debbie would go to say something snarky and Chef would accidentally get her. Wolf would go to say something snarky and Wolf would accidentally get them. <laughs> Probably so. But I don't, if I was banned from any channel, it wasn't a channel that I continued to go to anyways. So I can think of some people that, that likely would have banned me, but I never went to their chats. So I wouldn't have known.
Is there a way to look to see where you're banned from? Is there like a database? <laughs> Can you search what channels you're banned from? That could be fun. Jiggly, my coffee got cold. I've got a new pot. If you could just, like, give me a topper. Just, just top me off. It should be good. I ignored it for too long because I was knitting. <laughs> All right. I now have three rows at 18. So that's what we're looking at there now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Wolf. They have decided you need to be modded now so you can start uh, banning friends too. <laughs> that's that's where that is. That look good enough? Should we start getting smaller again? I think we can. It might work. Maybe one more, actually. <laughs> I'm going to do... Damn in hell. I'll be an indecisive again. Hold on. Let me look at this. All right. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more row of 18, and then I'll start decreasing in size. Which will, in the end, be four rows of 18. Is it? All I know about this um, material is that it's got blues in it. Is it white with like speckles of blue? What color is this? What am I working on? <laughs> what are we looking at here? I mostly know that it's fluffy. It's very pleasant to touch. Okay, okay.
Nice, nice. Ah. We're going to have to learn Storybook Ocean. Nice. We're going to have to learn how to make... Like, this is the first thing... <laughs> right. Um, this is my first attempt at doing something that isn't basically a square or a rectangle. You know, or... I mean, technically, my first project was a bag, but that was really just going around and around and around in circles. Um, so this is the first time I've tried to make something that has a kind of distinct shape to it. Um, and I... I just made it up. I didn't like, like, I have no information on how. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that I'm doing it technically right. I just am doing it. Um. So we're going to hope it works out. If it doesn't, we'll take it all out again. And it won't matter. It'll be like, it never happened. <laughs> All right. I think that's the last one at 18 we're going to do. And we're going to start working our way down from there. Um, now, does anybody care about the process? Do you guys, do you guys actually want to know? I, I don't have to go into it if you're never going to try to do knitting in increments that go up or down. But if you want to know how I'm doing it, I can tell you. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I can tell you what I'm doing. Because um, I'm not being super descriptive. I'm just sort of doing a thing and chatting about everything else. Well, um, so when we're doing the adding, right, I had one loop and I did... I did a regular knit on the front of it and then I went to the back of it and I did another loop on the back and that made two. And then on the next row when I needed three, I did the first two normally and then on, um, I did another one out of the, the back. So with each new one, mm -hmm, I did one front and one back at the end. Now I'm decreasing and so when I get to the last of it, I will, I will just take the two. <laughs> no jiggly but yes i will do two um at the end of each row um knit them as one together so yeah that was that's what i was going for i don't do you knit angst i a little is that something you're familiar with because like i said i'm just making it up i don't know that that's actually Okay, cool. I just sort of reasoned through how you could do it, but I I didn't really know. My concern is that it would make some of the edges kind of weirdly lumpy. So we're going to see in the end if we end up with weird lumpiness. Is it? Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's probably true. It's probably true. <laughs> well, I was, what was I making? Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> right, exactly. Now I'm trying to remember what I made. Um food wise. And somehow like I mean I was it was in my hair. It was it was everywhere and I was like I I don't know how I managed to make the kind of messes that I make uh in general in life. I can't remember what I was cooking though. <laughs> I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> was it gravy? It might have been gravy. <laughs> Could have been. I can't remember. Oh! No, one of the days it was definitely egg yolk. But I don't think that was both days. I think that was a different day. I am just a mess in general. And then I was like, I do this on fucking camera. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's why I need to put my head my hair back to cook and eat. It's just safer. Might have been ice cream. I bet it was ice cream. I think it was ice cream I got in my hair. Yeah. Well, what was impressive is it was here. I don't... How does it get there? Like, I understand when it gets here. You know? But here? I don't I don't know what I did to get it there. It was cake. It was cake and ice cream. That's what it was. <laughs> Moisture. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I just don't know how I do the things I do sometimes, you know? <laughs> it really is. It's, it's the confusion afterwards of like, how? What did I do? I, I don't know what I did. I didn't think I was that violent when I put it together. <laughs> you're not really living life to its fullest if you're not headbutting it. Hey, hey. Sheesh. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna top off this coffee since Jiggly wouldn't do it for me. At least I know how I spilled oil all over my clothes. I don't know how I got cake and ice cream in my hair. <laughs> Is that what happened? Mm -hmm. All right. I not that I remember, but I mean, maybe if I had butted it hard enough, I wouldn't know. Okay. I'm really afraid to open that refrigerator again because I just let the uh, the refrigerator door kind of slam shut and I heard things move in that door. So the next time I opened the door to that refrigerator, terrible things might happen. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's going to be great. All right. <laughs> I've never had a smash cake. All right, so now we're down to 17. We're going to go down to 5. By the time we get down to 
five, we should have a good idea of um, how this edge is going to look. And we can decide if we hate it and want to rip it all out and start over again. Which I'm totally fine with. <laughs> That's part of knitting, I think. You just, um, you go no, and you rip it out, and you start over. A lot. Frogging? Bella, what did you guys have for dinner today? <laughs> oh no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yep. I was did you? Um, the last time I hit my head on the freezer door, it was so awful. It, it, it hurt so bad that I like sat on the floor for a little while and just cried. It was, it was really bad. It was the back of my head, though. Which part of your head did you hit? Because for me, I was bent down looking in the fridge, which I wasn't even looking. I was reaching in the fridge, but I put my face in too far. And then when I went to lift back up, I smacked the back of my head on the freezer part. Um, and then immediately went down to the ground. Do you have any ideas of what you might do, Angst? I had... um. I took some elk and I fried that up in some caramelized garlic oil and then I threw some um, butter that had um, yep yeah, mm -hmm. ouch sounds very similar to the way I went about it um, I had a butter with some basil and oregano and so when it came off of the heat, I plopped some of that butter compote on there. Mm, Montreal smoked meat. Very nice. And then um, I have mashed potatoes and a beef gravy. Um, so I had elk and potatoes and gravy. Shit, I needed to start that broth. I need to do that as soon as I finish stream. I cannot forget. I've got to start the broth. Maybe if I repeat it to myself enough, I won't forget. It sounds very Montana. It's uh, inexpensive is what it is. It was making do with the ingredients I have on hand. The only thing I had to buy, because I already had the uh, the gravy in the fridge, and it had already given me the elk, uh, so all I had to worry about was buy. Oh, nice. Potatoes. Yeah, I, I get it for free, because I'm spoiled. I'm friends with people who hunt every year, so... They have a lot of game meat. Yeah, for sure. Come here. It starts getting difficult to get the yarn to cooperate when I'm trying to go through two at once with the... Uh, 
whole size of the needles I'm using and whatnot. Come here. There you go. I got you. I need to make um, some chicken broth, though, because I'm going to use that for both um, I was going to make a what the hell was I going to make? I think it was for the the chili sauce. Yeah, I was going to use it for the chili sauce. Um, I don't think I was going to use that for the stewed potatoes. I think I just needed it for the chili sauce. You can use water, but I figured the broth will give it a bit more body. On Wednesday, I was going to make um, the stewed tomatoes and the hatch red chili sauce. And then I was just going to throw together some breakfast burritos and make smothered breakfast burritos. So I was going to do like egg potato bacon. I'm, I was not going to make poutine. I could make poutine sometime. I think you should know, though, that um, Oliver just said pouting. When I do that, um, I'm going to have to make barbacoa. <laughs> you want poutine? <laughs> <laughs> Um, we are having a discussion about, um, taking poutine and because, um, it is normally done with a very condensed beef gravy. Um, we were talking about the possibility of making something like uh, a, a bit of a fusion food with the poutine and doing barbacoa and then taking the juices from the barbacoa uh, and turning that into a gravy um, for the poutine. The question comes down to what to do in the way of cheese if we do it this direction. Okay, because we're, we're already fiddling with the gravy and we're adding barbacoa to it. Mm-hmm, I love barbacoa. Um, but do we, I, I feel like if we, yeah, um, I feel like if we start making alterations, we, we shouldn't make too many because then we're too far from, from what the thing was, right? Uh, so I think sticking with the, um, The squeaky cheese. What is it? The damn it. What kind of cheese is it? Because I'm thinking queso fresca, and that's wrong. Curds. The curds. Yeah. Stick with the curds. Um, but add barbacoa and use the juices from the barbacoa to make the gravy with. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, no, no. Don't get distracted. This is, I got it. I got it. I almost forgot to double this one. Um, but, yeah. I did have um, an actual Canadian poutine for the first time. Um, so...
so I found out um, it's just been an interesting week on on the blindness front in Montana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Someone said routine. Yeah, we were talking. I had um, had actual poutine. I'm, I came from Texas. They don't have poutine in Texas. <laughs> it's, it's not down there at all. Um. So, blind things. Okay. Uh, interesting, interesting things regarding blind things. Um. The area that I'm in, there is a serious problem uh, with a lack of individuals employed in blind services. Um, everybody who is employed here is new. Um, and they did have someone that they hired on uh, to do orientation and mobility locally. Uh, she was still in her, uh, what do they call the first six months where they have the ability to let you go without reason, you know, trial period, basically, of employment. Yeah, her probational period. Um, and um, I don't know what happened. However, I, I got a text message from her that started with, this may not be appropriate, but, <laughs> which uh, is always concerning. Um, and she went on to say in the message that she was let go without reason. Um, and... Uh, Yada, yada, yada. I did not respond because um, I did not feel like it was terribly appropriate. And it wasn't something I felt like I should be involved in. Um, however, I then found out that's our local orientation and mobility instructor that was just hired.